big shovel -y. right now. You had all day to shovel. It's hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B, and thanks for stopping by. Today in the video, we are going to be doing a shop hush like haul, review, swatch kind of thing. I'm going to be comparing these to two different other brands, same palettes, two different brands, the originals and a new dupe brand or copycat brand that came out recently. All right, guys, so before we get into today's video, do me a favor and just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it at the bottom of this video so you can become part of the hive and get notified instantly when I upload. I upload three days a week right here at the bottom of the screen at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I do a ton of video, guys product reviews, makeup tutorials, fun challenges, and all that good stuff. And you don't want to miss any of it, okay? So if you're already subscribed, welcome back. We love you. We miss you. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So I did go on to my Instagram, and I kind of give you a preview of what this video was going to be about. It's going to be pretty long, so bear with me. Um, you can always skip around in the video to kind of see like what palette you're really interested in. I did a copycat beauty haul versus the originals, and um, I'll go ahead and link that above. But a lot of people on that video kept mentioning Shop Hush. I've never bought anything from them. I have seen a lot of stuff about them, and that they're really good comparable dupes. They're pretty decent. So every Everyone was telling me that they're cheaper than copycat beauty that they're better quality and just all around a better company so what I did was I went ahead and I signed up at shop hush and I bought three different palettes to compare to the three palettes that I bought from copycat beauty and then I also have the original palettes from the name brands so now I'm not I have already I've beaten this one to death like this is done but I'm gonna do like some comparable swatches but mainly I want to compare the shop hush palettes versus the original so um, and kind of tell you guys you know if it's cheaper if it's better that kind of stuff so let's get into this video all right guys so before we get into this super long swatch review blah 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 I wanted to announce the January winner for my giveaway, the $50 Ulta gift card that I was doing for YouTube. It is Haley Love. Sorry, I was looking down at the name. Her name is Haley Love. I'm gonna put her name in the description. I'm also gonna try to reach out to her. All you had to do was be subscribed and comment on my ColourPop um, Through My Eyes video. So I'm gonna go ahead and also comment on there and just let her know she won. I will give her about 48 hours to respond. If she does not, then I will pick someone else. But as of right now, congratulations, Haley Love. You are the winner of a $50 Ulta gift card. So the first one I wanna do, cause it piques my eye, is the Too Faced Peach Palette. This is a very well-known palette. Most of you guys know what it looks like. You know what it is, blah, 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 blah. Let's get to something we don't really know about. So again, like I said, I've never used Hush. I've seen it a lot. I went on there. It was kind of hard to find stuff. I will tell you that. Like, you kind of have to, like, what I actually did to find these items was I typed in, um, like, Too Faced. I typed in Sweet Peach Palette, and this one came out. I typed in Soft Glam, and that one came up. Because I didn't really know, like, what was compared to what, and I didn't want to mess it up. So I wanted to get the exact dupes for it. So this is Shop Hush's... Um, sugar face candy palette this has 18 colors in it just like the sweet peach and it also I really like that like with copycat beauty she only did like really cheap plastic um, not plastic cardboard it's really thin where like I feel like the hush one like they really tried to get it to be similar so it has that pink peachy orange theme going on um, I will tell you this one was on 40% off this I got this for six dollars okay originally it's 10 where this one is 8.99 so let me go ahead and open this one up and then I'm also going to open the peach one up just to compare them so you have both palette I'm trying not to blind you okay so here you have both of the palettes this mirror is so dirty Ooh. okay so here you have both of the palettes they are very similar in color. The inside is different because this is pink and this is brown. But I will tell you that I like that Hush, you know, they did um, recreate this palette to be a dupe for it. But what I like is they did not directly copy Too Faced idea. Um, they are similar shadows for the most part, almost identical, but they kind of mix up the like placement of it. So I really, really like that because the problem is 
with the copycat one, like as cheap as this is, like at least for $6 though, this one, that's not bad. Like that's really good quality. This is a metal case with hard plastic. This was $8.99 and this is just a cheap, thin cardboard. But they copied Too Faced to the T. Placement of the colors, shades, all of it. So again, I've already swatched these um, and I compared it. I did act an actual look with it the other day and I'll go ahead and link that above so you can see comparing just these two. If you guys wanna see more in depth like the Soft Glam or ABH with Copycat or Hush or whatever else I'm using in today's video, just leave me a comment below and I will always get them out for you. I just don't wanna overdo it with the copycat brand because I think people have kind of beat that horse to death. We're done with it. We don't care. We're moving on. So we are going to swatch the Sweet Peach palette on my arms and hands somewhere. So I'm just going to do like three colors from each palette. So this one I'm going to go in is Blueberry Pie, Cherry Pie, and let's get a matte. We'll go in with chocolate cake. Cake, 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 cake. So we have cherry pie, blueberry pie. There's a lot of fallout in the Hush ones, I will tell you that. And then chocolate cake. Okay, so the ones that I went into from the peach palette or from the sugar palette was cherry pie, blueberry pie, and chocolate cake. Now I am going to go in with the peach palette using Just Peachy, Talk Derby to Me, and then Summer Yum, which are all the ones of this one. So we have Just Peachy, Talk Derby to Me, and Summer Yum. So one thing that I do want to mention is that the... Um, sugar palette does have a little bit more fallout in the pan or kickback when you're using it so just be more mindful of that but I think for like six dollars that's really not bad at all these two like even the dark with the purple now the Too Faced definitely has a little bit more glitter in it I will definitely say that because this is like a black ish with purple reflex um, these two are not identical colors I don't know if you could tell on camera or not but this one is more peachy where this is way more pink these two are pretty identical however I will have to say that I feel like the fake one swatched way better holy moly yeah I definitely think that hush hush one on that color but these are super similar palettes um which I think is pretty cool however there's a couple difference like nectar isn't in here I think unless this creme brulee is supposed to know because that's a matte and Nectar is a shimmer. So Nectar's not in here. There's just a lot of color difference and placement. So for $6, you're getting a very similar palette, but you're not getting the identical Too Faced palette, which is fine. Like it doesn't have to be identical. If you're trying to save money, girl, get this palette. It's cheaper anyways. And it's really good quality. I really liked it. So that is for the peach palette. I'm gonna go in with a blending brush with just one color. Like if you look here. Okay, so if you look here, like look at that other, look at that pan. I'm gonna zoom it in and I'm just lightly touching it and it is all over so I just want to go in that one is with hot cocoa and I just want to kind of blend it here and see how it blends it actually blends really nicely it's not very patchy at all so let's go in with the one that I believe is hot cocoa it's puree in the Too Faced palette so it's definitely a different color, but oh, that is actually way more patchy. It could be that because I'm doing it on my arm, which is a little bit more dry. But I really think that this sugar palette, they hit this one really nice. Um, I don't know if it's still on sale or not. You'll have to go check it out. But if it's not on sale for $6, it's only 10 bucks. And just to let you know, so these guys, these swatch, the Copycat Beauty ones, um, just real quick, they swatch very nicely. <sighs> However, they do not blend well. That is the problem that I found with all of her palettes across the board when I was trying them out um, is that they swatch beautifully and they swatch almost identically but when it comes to color they just kind of muck together um, there's no real distinct difference between the browns and they just they're not very pigmented um, the shimmers are okay but they could be better so this one is only $8.99 but again this is a much lower quality um, 
dupe than the hush one and also with the hush one you have like all the ingredients on here um it tells you where it's from where it's manu manufactured so i like that a lot because this one i honestly couldn't tell you this is probably from china i'm not gonna lie but other than that we don't really know because she just kind of like rebranded this go-to beauty and slapped her face on the website so let's move on so i'm gonna definitely say hush wins copycat loses in that one so this one is 14 dollars where and this is um aberesque bad habit aberesque Maybe I'm saying that right. I don't know. Probably not. Um, and this is a shadow collection. 14 color eyeshadow collection. It is thin. There's the packaging. It has the ingredients. Um, cruelty free stamp. All that good stuff. And it has their Bad Habit Beauty Instagram. And their website on the back. So it has. You're getting with this dupe. Um, you're getting a lot more information on the company. Than you are with this guy. Where this is all you're getting. It's a fake gold palette. So you do get the long mirror, it's just as long as this palette, but I'm not gonna blind you guys with it. Again, so what they did was they did very similar colors. I'm talking almost to a T, but they kind of rearranged them. They um, Some shades are a little bit off, which is fine because I feel like they mimicked, they took something that they really admired and they made a product that is close enough and cheap enough to sell to consumers who can't afford the expensive one. Whereas, obviously with copycat beauty they completely copied abh's palette um it's identical in where the colors lie the shimmers on this are pretty good um if you use a wet brush they're better so if you have this one and you're having trouble laying those colors um go ahead and wet your brush but the mattes they're just shit sorry <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you the abh one compared to the bad habit one so here they are together so here they are together if you could tell like the color scheme and everything they're very similar they have a lot of shades that are very close in color but some that are just a little bit off which i like just because it doesn't it shows that they didn't completely steal someone's idea or brand they just took it as inspiration and went with it i mean it's real close inspiration but you know so i will tell you in swatching and playing with these this one has some fallout, but this one has a pretty amount of good fallout. And we all know the ABH shadows, they all have a pretty decent amount of fallout. So I just wanted to show you those and then I'm gonna do some comparable swatches. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with the Bad Habit brand. I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to swatch Nutcracker. And then I'm going to swatch Relieve, Re Relev definitely not really there's missing an eye see so it has a little bit of fallout in it um i don't know relieve relieve not sure and then i will do leotards which is the black just to compare those two blacks so i have two mattes and a shimmer i'm gonna put here so we have the leotards we have the oh oh my god okay so apparently the fallout in this pan is just as bad that is something that i cannot stand with dupes is the fallout and the formula sometimes can be just so grrr. So if you're using the Hush ones, if you're going to use them, please, 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 please do your face makeup last so you do not ruin it. And then we have Nutcracker, oh my gosh. We have Nutcrackers. Like, you gotta be kidding me, do you guys see that? I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but I'm gonna blow it so it doesn't. And then we have the Relev Relieve. Not really certain what that says. So there are the three here. All right, so I'm gonna go in with which ones seem very similar to these colors. So Rose Pink. See, you have a little bit of fallout from ABH. Like that's just their formula. But the fallout you're getting isn't like pff, dust everywhere. Like it's just a little fallout in the pan. So we're going to go in with, I believe Mulberry is the one that they were trying to mimic. See, if I don't know if you can tell, but this one has such less mm -hmm. fallout. And then Noor, which is basically in almost every, almost every palette they have. So there are the three. You can tell the black is definitely more pigmented, but we shall see. So we have Noor. Hmm. 
It's actually a little bit more patchy than the, and then this one is rose pink. Hmm. And then this one is mulberry. Okay, so both of these seem a little bit patchy, but this one, the original ABH is way more patchier than this one. I'm gonna take my um, blending brush and I'm actually gonna go in to both blacks and kind of see how they, so this one is the leotard, which has a humendous amount of fallout. So you have leotard, just light-handedly going in. Actually, that is, that's not bad. All right, let's go into Noir now. And then we'll go up here, Noir. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. The swatches kind of fool you. So in the swatches, the dupe is seems much better um, than the original, but when you blend it out, you can tell that the dupe is much lighter and more patchy. I don't know if you can because my arm is like this. <laughs> much more patchy than the original. This one blends out seamlessly and I love it. So then you have these two, which are almost identical. I believe that the Nutcracker from Hush, the Bad Habit palette, is a little bit darker in color, but they're both very beautiful, shimmery shadows, and I think they'll lay very well. I'm gonna go here and try to blend these out. So I went ahead and I tried to blend these a little bit and you can tell and you could tell that the fake one lost a little bit more color where the ABH one still has a pretty decent amount of color in it. So we're done with that one. I had a little chit chat while my hand is my arm is drying. So I do believe that for 14 this is a mess. <laughs> for $14, this is a very, very, very close match to not only look but formula of the ABH one. So I think that you're gonna really get your money's worth out of this. So if you wanna save some money, I would go ahead and buy this one from the Hush app. Just remember, this has horrific fallout. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's a good palette. It's good for people who don't wanna spend $50, $40 on a palette, but you're gonna get a lot of fallout. So just remember that. Um, also, I just, I do believe um, that these are better quality than the copycat ones. Um, it's not metal tin, obviously, but it's much heavier and thicker, and you can feel that there was a lot more work that went into this. So if you're looking for a dupe, I know the copycat beauty is only $8.99, and this is $14, but I would definitely spend just a few more dollars and get this one. It's very, like, durable, and I think that it is comparable to the ABH palette. Now, we are going to go into the last set of palettes which is my favorite from ABH. I have eyeshadow all over my head. Okay. <laughs> which is my favorite from ABH, the <sighs> Dirty Renaissance. The Modern Renaissance palette. I said it in my previous video when I was comparing them um, like a week ago, that this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes in my entire collection. I have like 55-ish. Um, and it still stands to be one of my favorites. A beautiful palette, and I absolutely love it. They broke the mold with this palette, in my opinion. So then you have the Go To Beauty in, again, the most cheap package they could possibly find. And then you have these colors, which they are similar, actually almost identical. But I feel like I get more life out of these shimmers than these. They don't really reflect as much as, like, these do. I don't know, but so this one is $8.99 again. We're not gonna swatch her, but Bad Habit has one. So also from Hush, also $14. Um, it is that long, skinnier palette as well. I don't think I can fold that one, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> All right, so comparing the two palettes side by side. So the pans in the Bad Habit one are slightly bigger than the ones here, and again, they kind of move the colors around, which is fine. I appreciate making a difference in the palettes, so we're not completely copying a brand. So for the original, I am going to go in with Venetian Red because it is one of my favorite colors. This one does have a bit of fallout, but not as bad as some of them. Um, it does have it in the reds and the pink looking ones just because like that happens when you get highly pigmented colors and I'm gonna do Realgar? Relgar? Realgar. 
Not sure. We're going to do this color right here. Don't really know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go one shimmer and I'll do Primavera because it is one of my favorite from this palette. So we have this one. Ooh, that's kind of patchy. Okay. This one. It's a little bit patchy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And then the Regar. I don't really know what that means. And then Primavera. I'm probably not saying it right, to be honest. All right, so those are the ABH ones. Now we are going to go in with the Bad Habit ones similar to it. Eh. All right, so I'm going to go in with Regal, which is close to the Venetian Red. And then... I don't even know. I guess Monarch is going to be the same color as Relgar, Real, whatever. Real Gar is what that is. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. All right. And then Crown, which is a cup, is a copy of the Primavera. Again, these are bigger. They do not have as much fallout as the other two. I will give you that. These are not actually that bad. So we have the three here. Let's go ahead and do a swatcheroo. Oh. So reds are going to be a little bit harder too. I think both of them are actually quite patchy. That's not bad. That is not bad. Okay, so you have the swatches here. This is the ABH one. This is the Bad Habit one. They are both actually just a little bit patchy, but they're reds. So reds are very, very, very hard to get right. Um, however, I think that they are very similar in color. So this is the ABH one. We're going to go in with the Bad Habit one. Okay, well. Okay, so blending them out, you can tell that the ABH one has just a little bit more pigment, where this one is kind of lighter. So I think you could build both of them up. Um, however, again, I think that the... The ABH one is definitely going to be better in this instance. Where this one, the actual um, Bad Habit one, I think is actually a little bit more pigmented than this one is. It is just a little bit more patchy, but again, that is, you're just going to get that when it comes to a lower brand formula. But I think that this one does really nice. However, the shimmers, again, are freaking comparable. So that is it for the Modern Renaissance and her dupes. Like, see this? That's a link. Look at that. Because I folded it okay so I do believe that this one is also going to be much better than this dupe um it just this one doesn't it kind of looks dull like dead neglect I don't know maybe it's the packaging it's in I don't know it's very cheap packaging but for $14 again you're getting all of the information that is required for consumer to have it's not required but you want it most of us want to know where this palette came from um it's very beautiful you do get pretty big pans there's a little bit of fallout in all of them and the colors can be a bit patchy so you might want to work on that if you can afford it, I would definitely go for the originals just because the formula is so much better. Like you're paying that high price. Like I get it. People are like, no, you're not paying the high price because the formula are paying it because of the name brand. That is partially true. However, most of the time you pay, you get what you pay for. I, I'm a big believer in you get what you pay for. So if you're getting generic foods, generic brand stuff, that's fine. Like that's completely fine. If that's what's in your budget, that's what you want. Even if it's not like a budget thing, you just don't want to spend that kind of money, that's fine. But you have to be willing to accept the fact that you're going to get a much lower quality product. So you have a $9 palette, a $14 palette, and then $42 palette. But you can see the comparable differences. So if I were you guys, I would definitely, if you want dupes for these beautiful palettes because you don't want to buy them or you can't buy them, then go to Hush. Check out their website. Check out their app. It, it was a hard to find them. Like if they're not real trendy, they're not going to be right on the homepage. You're just going to search it in. Type in what you're looking for, like the name brand wise, and it'll pop up. I think it's a good site. It was easy to access. It wasn't questionable. You knew, you know what I mean? You were shopping on a website and 
and the go-to beauty one was kind of weird. It was just like her pic face and then just all these like stamped pictures. But I think that these are going to be really nice comparable dupes. I think that Shop Hush did a fantastic job picking these brands to put on their store because I don't think that like Hush actually owns makeup. I think they just have brands on their site because like this is Bad Habit and this one... I'm not even sure. Oh, face candy. So yeah, so it just seems like it's a website full of generic or lower end makeup. Um, however, I think the quality is very comparable. And for the price, I paid $34 for all three of these palettes. This one is $42. So I think if you're looking to save some money, then they're really good. Again, these are not horrific. They're not great. Um, they're not even close to great, but if you really, really, really want the cheapest, absolute cheapest product or version of the product, then you're going to get these because they're $9 a piece. However, I would definitely urge you just to spend a few more dollars or save up a few more dollars and get the Hush one. I'm glad you guys recommended these to me because I do feel like these are way better quality and they didn't completely copy the other brand. All right guys, so that is it for today's video, but before I leave, I would like to announce a giveaway that I'm doing. So, if you have made it this far, then you're in luck because I'm gonna give you a chance to win an entire Kylie bundle. That's right, I am going to be picking a subscriber who will, I'm not gonna buy them, I'm going to pick the person and then I'm going to reach out to that person and they're going to pick the colors of the items I'm going to buy because I don't want to get the wrong shades and stuff for someone's skin tone or stuff they might not like. So if you're the winner of what I'm about to say, you will be, I will reach out to you personally by email or whatever you leave your information for me and I will go ahead and have you pick out on Kylie Cosmetics website what items you want and then I'll go ahead and purchase them and just have them shipped to you. So these are the items you're going to be winning in the Kylie Cosmetics bundle. You're going to win a eyeshadow palette of your choice, a blush of your choice, the brand new blush, which is bomb, a bronzer of your choice, a highlighter of your choice, and a lip kit of your choice. You're getting five freaking Kylie Cosmetics products. I am going to be doing this giveaway when I get to 750 subscribers. So make sure that you guys are paying attention because once I hit that 750, I will come back to this video and announce the winner when it happens because it could be a little bit down the road. But just make sure you kind of keep track and stay tuned to my video for that. All you have to do to be in this 750 giveaway is be subscribed and comment below the number 750. You can leave any other comment you want to, but just make sure 750 is in your comment because then I know that you watched the video and you didn't just make a comment because you saw a giveaway in the description. See how I did that? All right, guys, let's get this channel up to 750. Let's do a huge giveaway. Let's have a lot of fun and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.